So as most people can guess, there's been an influx of idiots trying to objectively criticize God of War Ragnarok because they just don't like the game. And most of the criticisms are at least like the ones I've seen are either objectively wrong or completely subjective to them. And while it's perfectly fine and not like the game, and have your subjective criticism with it like i have my subjective criticisms with it but what i hate is when people try to take their subjective criticism to try to pit it as a fact when they will either say some de on dumb ass criticism again which are objectively wrong or subjective to them and it shows that they just didn't pay attention during the game and it's story moments and if you're not someone who's hating on the game for no reason then still stick around because I'm be going in depth with some of these things in the game's story and character writing that disprove these brain dead criticisms and also may maybe will be able to see some things that make this game so great and like some details that you might have missed but honestly this is expected with all popular things because when a wide majority of people praise a game that you don't like those people are about to just hate on it because that's just how the world works and honestly i can understand it because i know how i can feel for example I don't really like Ender, uh, Elden Ring or any of the Souls games, I've played for that matter and a lot of people praise them while I find them boring as shit and they just aren't my type of game. But I'm not going around shitting on people because they like Elden Ring, the game itself, because I don't like it and I, and I also have only played around like two four hours of the Souls games that I've played but I don't see myself in a comfortable position to give criticism on them but whatever I'm here to debunk some dumb ass criticism so let's get into it so let's take this dumb ass here oh and if you're one of those soft ass that will get like annoyed by all of this because I'm not going to be respectful towards these people so you can just go now Let's start off with the very first one. Our first dumbass says, God of War Ragnarok is good. Ha 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 ha. Bro, you stupid. You really think this game is good? It's ass. Like, they include characters who we don't care about and they get killed off. Give me an example. Please. Please give me an example. Yeah, we got bigger here. That, uh, and, uh, what's it called? That traveler that sacrificed himself to save us, but... Other than that, who you got? Freya, his sacrifice was very, very nice and very touching because it is Freya's sister. We do see them for a good chunk of the game. They have their arcs. So, again, just some more brain-dead criticism to come with these people because they don't know what they're saying and they'll just hit on a game that everyone is praising because they want to feel included they want to feel like they're a part of it and they just want to ruin everyone's feeling of the game he also says the story is such a mess and so terribly paced what please give me an example where this story is slow paced or a mess the only example i can think of is the angry boda mission other than that, you're pulling things out of your ass that I don't know how long it took you to dig for them. Like, seriously, I don't see a, like, a single part in this game that is boring or just anticlimactic or un well not paced. And I just don't know where this kid got it from. He just pulled it right from his ass and put it in the comments. So, again... I don't know what a lot of these kids are thinking, but clearly they just came out of something that they don't even know because whenever someone, again, likes something, they just want to go ahead and shit on it. So, and then this kid proceeds and tells me, do us a favor and delete this video. Bro, do me a favor and delete this comment because this is the most brain dead thing I've ever seen in my existence. Who says, and I quote, the, the story is such a mess and so terribly paced. Brother, what are you saying? I, I, like, please give me an example of where the story is a mess, because as someone who's played 42 hours of the game, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, I think it's game of the year. The story isn't a mess, it's a lot of fun. So please, do me a favor and delete this bring-ass comment, because 
I am getting an aneurysm slowly reading it, and now I'm slowly proceeding to die. So please just do me a favor and delete it. And thank you. The next comment we got is from this other dumbass who says you should honestly just delete this. Already starting off sound like a brain dead kid who's just not respecting people's opinions and just... I was being subjective the whole time, but this kid is clearly not. He's like, you're the most idiotic reviewer I've ever seen. Fair enough. I might be idiotic, but you might be on a different level. He says the story is amazing, question mark. Are you high or just stupid? The story is shit and boring compared to 2018. Elden Ring shits on it. Oh, hell no. You really just called the story of Ragnarok boring as hell so starting ragnarok fighting thor twice fighting odin fighting all these people it, it's boring having these amazing side missions where you can fight dragons free this uh, chained up monster and then help uh, people around the realms that's all boring damn i i don't know what else you want honestly like you you should be making the new god of war games because clearly you know how to make stories and clearly you're an experienced story writer that knows practically everything about gaming and writing so go ahead make the sequel god of war ragnarok hell retcon this game and make your own god of war ragnarok if you know so damn well okay give us a new amazing story that will work for everyone please enlighten us change our generation our process of thinking of how game writing should go because clearly you got all the answers just like odin you have that stupid ass mask that you go looking through that portal and you just got all the answers because apparently no other game studios thought like mm, our game it should definitely be boring and dog shit hmm guys i think that's that's perfect so honestly go go make the new god of war ragnarok we'll we'll see you with your ps1 graphics and your negative f type writing so yeah show us your way of enlightening us with your type of version of god of war ragnarok the next reviewer says god of war ragnarok introduces characters and kills them all i already debunked this they introduce characters lovable characters that get all their arcs done and don't need to be shown anymore because they've done their part in the story. We had Big Rear that yes got killed off. We got Freyr who was Freyr's brother and was a good character in the story and he sacrificed himself. Both those characters sacrificed themselves. You got Throod who's an actual really good character. You got Lady Sif who's yet yeah, an enjoyable character and then you got Thor who yes gets killed off but it's freaking Thor. He's awesome. What else do you want? And then he, and then he says, and then they expect us to be sad. Brother, it's your choice to be sad. Most people definitely did get sad. You're telling me you didn't get sad when Thor got killed off just because he didn't want to listen to Odin? You're telling me you didn't get a bit of a tear when Freya had to say goodbye to Freya? Like, bro, all of these comments are so brain dead. I bet they never even played the game. This is the levels I'm talking about. And then he says... Also, the missions are just boring. Please give me an example other than the Jotunheim, the Jotunheim mission with Angerboda. Please, any other example you can pull from your ass, and I will take it. I will. I'll bow down to you. I will. I will praise you forever because I want to hear your other example of a boring mission. Because apparently, we all just missed that boring mission and just voting this game for game of the year and just ignoring that one boring mission. You know, because. Apparently, you know every single mission because you probably didn't even play this game and you can just see forward in time. So, and then he also says, how are you about to have a God of War game and have crap missions? I don't really need to say anything else other than this is the most brain dead thing I've ever heard. And then the next comment says, God of War Ragnarok is terrible. Wow. Just... Wow. God of War Ragnarok is terrible, yeah. It has terrible pacing. Give me an example, please. Boring missions, give me an example other than the Anger Boda mission. And annoying characters. What? Sindri gets a good character arc. Odin's a good villain. Kratos gets his good character arc. Atreus gets his good uh, character arc. Brock gets a good finale. Tyr gets proven to be Odin. Freya gets a good character arc. Freya does his Freya does his job in the story. Thrud's a good character arc. What boring characters? Please tell me. Who are these annoying and boring characters that you are talking about? I I just don't get it. 
I, I, I just don't get it. And then he says, I don't know why people like it. People like it because it's good and you're just a brain dead kid who doesn't like the game. I honestly can't even handle reading any more of these comments anymore. So, again, let me know if you guys think these people are brain dead or I'm just stupid and, like, uh, you know, I'm just being rude or something. So, uh, yeah, apparently God of War Ragnarok is bad.